So first we're going to be quickly showing you my preferred system of farming. So here's what I'm going to be doing. This is the first step. Set our 2.5 minute timer, a 5 minute timer, and a 7.5 minute timer. Pause it all and reset it. I'm going to go in and uh, go into your private server. So after you do all those timers, right, you want to press start to every single timer. And you want to make sure your sound is, is on. For the first uh, two and a half minutes, you're going to wait. And you're going to wait by killing our giddy members in this spot exactly. Or there's another great spot you can go to. You can reset. You can choose this this nice nice spawn over here. Oh, giddy already, already coming. I think this is more updated, more fresh NPCs. So yes, I'd recommend you go to either or. But this one always has NPCs for you. It's it's a faster spawn, I, I think. But anyways, the main thing is those timers are to wait for each of the three bosses that's uh, supposed to spawn. Yeah. There's a timer. It's step number three, alright? You go look here. <coughs> you go all the way and look <coughs> over here. There's three boss spawns here. Nishiki can spawn there. He can spawn there. Or he can spawn there. And if he's not at either of his of these places, like he isn't right now, you reset and you go press this third one. You want to get him up against this wall. This place is the easiest to farm him because he just stays still for you. Like a little bitch. Oh, how do we get food? Fine though. Because, uh, a max level. Alright, so after you kill him, you make sure after you get his body, you go back, set the timer again, and wait for the next timer. And then reset. So that's step three, all together. Nishiki and, uh, getting that stuff. Step number five, as soon as you hear that five minute timer go off, that's the cue so you know that Amon has spawned into the server. So, you're gonna go look for him. <laughs> Bro. Click on the Enteku once again if you can't find him over there. And so, Amon's right there, but he could be there, or there, or at that place we killed Nishiki. But uh, we're just gonna kill him. And if you hear some blood and stuff, like you can hear, you can hear, then that means you're killing him, and when you stop hearing the blood, that's when you know you killed him, and you can collect his body and reset the timer. Alright, so see how there's no more sand left? That means he's dead. There's the timer. I recommend uh, getting Koshi, or if you're CCG, there's a, an abundance, there's a plethora of weapons that can be used. So I recommend you use other sorts of items. If you're CCG, it's very easy to farm RC, or to farm anything, because you got a plethora of options to choose from. But if you're ghoul, use something like Koshi, perhaps even Yomo, if you can combo it. Okay, I can get that. Just start killing Edo. This is step six, by the way. Kill Edo. Step six? Yeah, step six. Alrighty. Now this one's a little easier because you can see Edo through the wall. Also, uh, I'm just gonna keep my stats up to show how much Edo gives because Edo is pretty important. She's ver she's very important actually. And there we go. We got it. After that, you're gonna want to repeat all those six steps again and again until you have a sufficient amount of RC that you have so guys I'm gonna be repeating these steps and I'm gonna come back when I have Yomo and make a video on Yomo the next day alright guys uh, I finished my grinding I fucking love that animation it takes a long time to go but why is she so hot
<laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go experimenting. So that's a nice little click that I couldn't show you guys before. That's a nice E. Oh. 